Hello, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. Thank you for joining me for another part in the mini-series, Benefits and Considerations for Multi-Stage Completion Comparison. Just real quick, a reminder how you can stay in the know in the additional resources. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can go see my video on demand training courses at uog.training. The final metric we'll look at is the refracturing options for each system. We'll go back through all of the options that we discussed in the refracturing module and assess them. Six of the seven options that we discussed are options with all three of the completion systems. We have diverters, which are viable options, straddle isolation, you also have the expandable liners, your tubing string with expandable packers, tubing string with cement, tubing string with gel, and all six of those are viable options for any of the completion styles. The final option is the reclosable frac sleeves. With those, only the ball activated completion system and coil tubing activated completion systems is that an, a viable option. But there is a caveat. You do have to install those reclosable sleeves with the initial completion. You can't go back and refrac through reclosable sleeves if they weren't installed in the first place. So if you have the non reclosing sleeves in the wellbore, this is not a viable option either. There's a couple of things to consider with each of the refracturing options. The first two, diverters and straddle isolation, theoretically you can do multiple refracts with them assuming that you are able to maintain wellbore integrity throughout the multiple refracts. With the expandable liners, the tubing strings with expandable packers and cement, you are likely only to get one refract. Each time you run one of these systems for refracturing and you re-isolate your original completion, then it decreases the diameter. You may be able to do it one more time, but each time that diameter gets smaller, so most likely you won't be able to do it but one time. With the uh, tubing string, if you're using the gel that dissolves after the frac, you can do multiple refracts, assuming that you have wellbore integrity. After you run your tubing string in, you fired your perforations again through that original casing. You do have to be concerned with the wellbore integrity and how long it will last throughout the multiple refracts. With the tubing string with gel, you do have the option to do multiple refracts, assuming that you can maintain wellbore integrity in the original completion. You do have to factor in that once you've perforated through that original completion time and time again, it probably will wear on that wellbore integrity, and you have to take that into account too. Theoretically, you also have multiple refract opportunities with the frac sleeves if you assume that you can get sleeve integrity. As we mentioned in the refract module, there have only been a few of these that have been attempted as a refract option, so largely I consider these sleeves, at least from a refracturing standpoint, to be in field trials still, because we just haven't refractured through many of them. So you have to think, will the sleeves be able to reclose? If they reclose, are they getting good isolation, or at least good enough isolation? And then can you reopen them again? And can you do that multiple times? Can you do that four to five times throughout the years to do multiple refracts? Another important consideration, if open oil isolation is used in the original completion, how effective is your refract isolation going to be? That's the other factor with open hole isolation. If you're planning on doing a refracturing plan, you have to consider how effective it's going to be with an original completion that used open hole isolation.